do something that nobody else has done or nobody else has seen. If you can figure out what that one little thing is, that's what's gonna make you stand out from everybody else. I'm Mike from Blown Deadline here in Detroit, Michigan. I always used to draw with pencils and pens and markers ever since I was in junior high. I've always been, in my opinion, pretty creative. And then when I met my wife, she's also a very creative person. And between the two of us, we've come up with some pretty crazy ideas. We're kind of known for doing custom theme guns, um, video games, Star Wars items, stuff like that. People probably recognize some of our work with uh, the Boba Fett and Stormtrooper builds we've done in the past. Well, back in 2013, I was, uh, I picked up an old Sig Sauer 225 that was kind of a piece of junk and I was looking for a way to have it refinished to make it look brand new so I started researching and I called a few places locally and they wanted to charge me 500 bucks to paint a gun so I figured well I've painted cars before in the past how hard could a gun be so I started doing some research and came across Cerakote as the best finish that people are, say, are talking about so I ordered a starter kit and from there sprayed the same gun probably four or five times because it looked like crap and ended up getting something that was halfway decent, but it made me happy. And then ever since then, just started painting firearms. When we first started, it was just here and there, my own personal things. And then I started an Instagram account, which seemed to have kind of pushed our photos and some of my work to people, the right people, I guess. There was a handful of people that saw what we were doing. And then they said, well, maybe we can send you something. And then they would repost and it just blew up from there. I guess the right people saw some of our work when we first started and it's just grown exponentially since then. I had an idea to do a Boba Fett pistol for myself. So I Googled and I found a picture of a Boba Fett pistol that was done. It looked like it was done with lipstick and makeup. And I figured I could do better than that. And that's when I did my first Boba Fett pistol. There's a company called DMG. DMG is the company. They do uh, media and photos and websites and stuff like that. Own, it's owned through uh, Rainier Arms. And a couple of their guys got a hold of some of the work we did. So we ended up painting some stuff for DMG. And then John at Rainier Arms saw some of our work. And then we started doing work for John. And then Paul Wang from uh, Fortis and a few other companies. And then we started growing and growing. Everybody wanted custom shot show rifles or paint schemes on their pistols or anything we could get our hands on. So we started painting everything we could. And it, the crazier, the better for us. When it came down to it, everybody wanted a specific Star Wars character. Nobody ever did Boba Fett, so we started doing the Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, different, you know, Mandalorian when that came out. Everybody's got their own idea of how something should look, but interpreting that is always the hardest part because if someone said they want Boba Fett on their gun, obviously it's a gun. You can't make a gun look like a person. So what we do is we take a lot of the colors or symbolism or certain aspects of that character and we try to incorporate that into a firearm design. And that's when our Boa Fett rifle first came out. And it kind of broke the internet when we first showed it because we literally drug it on the cement and scratched it and beat it all up. But that's, you can't fake 
that kind of wear. We're just always trying to push the limit of what Cerakote can do. Typical M81, multicam, those are great popular patterns, but we wanted to go as far as we could possibly go as far as how do you make a gun look like a gun that was in a video game. As, we, as I started seeing some of those paint schemes, they look to me, they look challenging. And I'm up for a challenge, so how can we incorporate some of those video game, I guess skins is what they call them in the games, how can we incorporate those on real life firearms and still be functional? Because nobody was really doing that kind of stuff. So the Borderlands stuff, the Boba Fett stuff, all that kind of stuff, it was more of a challenge to see if we could do it in the first place. And then once we did, we started pushing the envelope a little further to see how crazy could we get with it. The more manufacturers that started seeing us, it's like we started growing and growing and growing. So we would, we never paid ourselves. We took all of our money and we put it back into the business to update and build a bigger brand. We started our first builder set with Arrow. They, they reached out to us and asked if we would be willing to do 200 rifles, which would be an upper lower handguard for them. But they wanted like a battle worn orange sniper gray finish. So that was pretty exciting for us because that was the largest big order we've ever had. And that's kind of what put us a little more on the map because Arrow's got a pretty large reach and we also had more money. So we started investing in better equipment, better, more ovens, uh, hiring employees. And from there, the custom stuff will, will always have to accommodate customers with the custom stuff because that's kind of where our roots are and where we started. But we are looking forward to larger companies and doing more production work, more OEM work because it's more satisfying in a sense because you get they have some of these companies have large reach, you know, and we would like to get our name out there with every big company. I would say you make more money that way too, but is, is it about the money or is it about the fame? No, it's, it's about the money. It really is. It started out as enjoying what you do. And I still enjoy what we do here. I really do. I enjoy painting guns. I don't want to do anything else. But think of something no one else has seen. Do that. Crush it. And that's how you're going to be remembered, basically. you guys want to know I mean we have a good Jets pizza here <laughs> there's probably pepperoni some cheese probably square and round too as well with flavor crust